Should you be 100% convinced that this means something clearly about the Dallas Cowboys' intentions of contention in 2024? Not necessarily, but I'm Mike Fisher, your trustee and trusted reporter. This is the fishbowl, that is the star, and up there is the party bus in Indianapolis where the Cowboys are conducting business, kind of, at the NFL Scouting Combine, conducting business and making decisions. Uh, Our friend Ian Rapport first to note this, end of an era. The Tyron Smith decision is essentially done. Breaking news, the Cowboys and Tyron have decided, almost certainly, that the marriage is not going to work going forward. Uh, The word that Ian uses is unlikely to return to Dallas. I'll quote Ian from NFL Network exactly. End of an era, Cowboys All-Pro and Pro Bowl left tackle Tyron Smith will be a free agent, unlikely to return to Dallas. Sources say the blindside protector since 2011, Smith will be highly coveted. So now Tyron goes into free agency after... uh, a standout year and kind of a rebound year, certainly health-wise. A decision has to be made now about um, what to do next around here. And then Tyron has decisions to be made, apparently. I would suspect that he's already kind of made them. I would suspect that his representatives have already gotten a feel for what's out there after getting a feel, if not an offer, from Dallas. Can the Cowboys have the view that even though he was outstanding this last year, given age, injury history, and the rest, maybe expecting more is a bridge too far? That's possible. I'm seeing on social media, everybody, and maybe you too, coming to your conclusions. This means this. This must be that. Can't do any of that without knowing the numbers. We know that when he was on the field last year, I think this is right. I think in 847 offensive snaps, I think he gave up one sack. We also know, and I've talked about this a lot, when you hand the keys to Tyron, there's an inherent risk. You know that, to to stretch the metaphor a little bit, he might fumble the keys. He might might mismanage the keys, injury-wise. So to be, you're super reliant on this guy, and then he's getting ready to turn 34? And I can understand why the Cowboys would decide to turn the page, but they should not be applauded nor chastised yet until we know the numbers. Let me do it for you this way, as it looks like Tyron will be playing somewhere else in 2024. Let's say the Chiefs offer him $8 million a year, one-year deal, let's just say, and you offered him seven, and he leaves. You're an idiot. You you said no to Tyron Smith at a reasonable rate over a million dollars. If, however, the Jets offer him three years, $36 million, $25 million guaranteed, and you said, well, no, Tyron, we're, we're thinking more like one year seven, then nobody's an idiot, except maybe the Jets. So it depends on the dollars, and it depends on the sense. There are those who think that Tyron Smith is a top five offensive free agent, period, across the board. Does he have enough juice in the tank to go earn and deserve more than $7 million? What if it's $12 million a year? What if somebody gives him multi-years? This much we can say, though. I will will level this criticism, such as it is, against the Cowboys here. If the Cowboys don't replace Tyron Smith with a better player, then once again... All in is a joke. You can't be, you you can be all in and let Tyron Smith go if you're going to turn around and sign Trent Brown from the Patriots. But you can't say that Tyron Smith is one of our best five and he's an all pro player in 2023. We're going to let him go. We're going to replace him with TJ Bass as one of our best five. And we're all in. So let's monitor this as we go forward while at the same time applauding Tyron Smith for his incredible work here. And then if he ends up, probably, you probably hope he ends up on an AFC team, don't you? The Chiefs, the Jets, 
So then you can kind of root for him. Tyron Smith, almost certainly getting uh, an unfortunate divorce from your Dallas Cowboys. Fish, out.